Going live? Come on, tell me I'm live. Welcome, Kumas, to Death Stranding. Sorry we're five minutes late. YouTube pushed the new update on us. Which means I didn't know that I just spent the last five minutes talking to myself. It is awkward for the both of us, but we are live. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. We've lowered the delay between the stream and the chat and what's happening here. Waited a whole week to get up to here. Oh my god. Just like, I just... I, I, I can't describe how, how, oh my god, I, I really, <laughs> words cannot describe how excited I am now to finally be able to finish this game. Return to Capital Knot. As we always do, let's give him a shower. I think our boy deserves a shower. I've only seen Amelia's hologram. Yeah, back to that mindset. Back to that mindset. Later, Christian. I hope you enjoyed the replays. Back to that mindset. We've only ever seen her in holograms. We've only ever seen her at the beach. She doesn't have a physical body. Like, that's the thing. Uh, on top of that, that ending last time... Please don't show me his thing. The ending last time, serious MGS4 vibes. Which is kind of why we just have to go ahead and play MGS4 tomorrow. It just is how it is. And watching, and watching what was his name, Clifford, poor bloody guy, poor bloody guy, and apparently that's not even the end of it. So, in normal tradition, let's drink this product placement to get some of our uh, extra health. What a thrill, I'm searching and I'll melt into you. Serious vibes, yeah. Oh, look at all those likes, 999 players. Oh, zero escape vibes. So good, so good. So we're gonna drink three of these uh, energy drinks. Almost give him a heart attack and then he'll finally have the stamina he needs to finish the game. Chat looks updated. It is updated. That's what I was doing last night. I hope you like it. I hope you like it. I seriously hope you like it. Uh, try putting an emoji in the chat and you'll see what I mean. They'll look so much bigger. I spent close to an hour playing with the coding just to get this to happen. It took a long time. There you go, you see? The little emojis come up now. Isn't that cool? Admit it, it is bloody cool. So, I it, it took a solid hour to do uh, because when you put something in OBS, it comes up as custom code. And when something is custom code, you can pretty much do anything with it as long as where it's coming from and where it's going is in agreement. And the thing with YouTube is, it never agrees with anything. And the thing with OBS is, it's open source software that's buggy as hell. And so the- Oh boy, here we go. I'll tell you later. Birthday cake? You know what day it is today, baby? Today would be a very special day to be mommy has. You're not born yet. But the more candles, the merrier, right? Soon it'll be time for you to come out into the real world. I promise. Then, we can have a real party. Well, happy birthday. He would have made an amazing father. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of uh, a quadruple rocket launcher. Welcome so slug. But oh my, he would have made such an amazing father. Why is it that the good people that should be parents get fucked over and the shitty ones get children? I'm sorry, but the world is pretty fucked up. Uh, cryo by delivery, capital not city, isolation ward. Wait, wasn't I in Capital Knot City? Oh no, I'm in Port Knot. 
How did I end up in Port Dodd City? I thought I was in Cap. What? Sam, you there? Fragile needs crypto biots. Could you bring her some from Port Dodd City? Her people have already harvested a bunch and are holding them in storage. They've even prepped a special breathable container for you to transport them in. This is to help ensure that our little friends don't enter a state of suspended animation. But since the case isn't airtight, submerging it in water would be a bad idea. The bad news is, we can't get any supplies out to you with the network like it is. And the rain's not letting up either. Remember, if the cryptobiotes fall into an metabolic state, they'll be no use to anyone. Look, I don't know how, but there's got to be a way you can get them here. You'll figure something out. You have to. I seriously hope you can't that afford to lose Fragile. She's our only way to Amelie. I seriously do it for her, or for what she can do. I seriously just get it done, Sam. Please. I seriously hope that the highway is at least semi-built since last time. I will accept this order. And I will bring a rocket launcher to the party. As is to... Where's my bike? I had a bike. Your bike now belongs to us. OzWizard57. I hope you don't mind. Don't forget. That container isn't airtight. You can't afford to submerge it. Even partially. Understood. So we'll carry on our back. And then we'll redo everything. Cool. We've got our armor. We've got our hand grenades that we never use. And we confirm. Head out. It is the grand finale. It is. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. All right, good shit. Oof. All right, let me just really quickly get some more weapons. We'll need them. We'll need them. Okay, uh, fabricate. What? Well, please tell me I left some weapons for myself. Typical Kuma always has weapons. That, that Kuma. Well, pray, put that in the private locker. And I grab a bunch of the blood bags. Carry on my back. Put in my utility patch. Done. That's all we need. That's all we need. That's all we need. Yo, Frick, how's it going? Alright, let's lock and load. We can't get more weapons. That's always a nice sign, isn't it? Like, you can't get more weapons. Oh, that's just asking for trouble. Use of weapons is prohibited. I'm a slav. I'm allowed to use my weapons. It's against my um, human rights to not be able to use my weapons. Alright, let's see how much they've built the highway in the last week since I was here. I've built it up to maybe here. And I see it slightly longer, which is a good thing. America, fuck yeah. America, fuck yeah. We're in the end game now, boys. We've been getting near constant timefall in this region for a while now. As a result, everything you've built for us out here has been completely destroyed. The good news is, we managed to recover all cargo stored on site and transferred it to the capital Not City Distro Center. As for the not so good news, chiral printers are currently unusable due to the network instability. Given the circumstances, you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for assistance. But I'll leave that up to you, Sam. I'm sure you'll come through for us. You always do. Alright, 
I don't care about the copyright strikes anymore. It's just beautiful. Of course they're going to ruin my song. Of course they've got to have to ruin my song, aren't they? I, I, I can't... Of course, there's BTs on both sides of me. I, I reckon let's just go straight down BT territory. Um, if we have to, and just take him head on, the slub way. Do I have nades? I have nades. They should do themselves a favor and not engage me. I haven't actually seen a lot of the Marvel movies either, so what the fuck is that? These are the kamikaze ones. And... Okay. Fuck, all I have is rocket launchers. Do I even have a pistol? No, I don't. It's been too long, that's how it's been. Well, let's dodge him. Go, 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 go! Clearly, I suck at... No, not down the... Ah, oh, fuck me! This is not... Okay, I, I managed to um, get a little bit of my reputation back there. Let's pretend that never happened. I don't like that. Mu oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, how do I climb? Uh, baby, not right now. Daddy's fighting a huge hentai monster. No, 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 Baby, not right now. That is really low on ammo! Wait, I got an idea. <laughs> Open wide, come on.
Stop moving, play that. That's a good boy. It's cool, baby. It's cool. We good. I don't know if this building's gonna be good. You're not taking my baby. I'm not being defeated by an anime monster from the dark part of the Discord server. Go back to not safe for work! Ooh, anti BT handgun. That would have come in handy a little while ago. <laughs> Someone's happy. Baby's happy we killed our octopus? I like it. Oh, Lou. Okay, Lou. It's okay, baby. I will protect you from the hentai monster. We good? There we go. We all good. We got a handgun now. And when you're older, I'll teach you how to use it. And of course, it's out of ammo. So where's my bike? There it is. Why do I get the feeling we've got those things coming back for us? Alright, let's take a look at my cargo and put it the best way. Because it's currently getting destroyed by the thingy. Alright, so cargo, the best possible way. Cool. Look at all those blood packs. I'm still getting used to the controls again. So luckily for me, I had to... Oh god. Oh, come on. I just defeated you. You can't be back so quickly. Bloody trolls. This is why we have to put a 10 minute delay on messaging for new people on our server. Wait, I didn't pick up all the shit from the thingy, did I? Where's all the thingies? There it is. There's my reward for killing it. I gotta pick it up. Oh yeah, we're definitely in the end game now. They're throwing currency at us like we're a hooker. They don't just do this to you unless you're in the end game. Let's go, baby. Uh, where's the bridge? We had it inside, but I totally died here. Okay, well, I guess they're on a lure. Alright, we should be okay. I can't see any reason why anything bad should happen. Oh, this is good for us. There we go. We're getting everything restored. We're safe. Let's see if I've left any weapons in here. Any weapons in here? 
Of course. I must have left something in here. I don't just leave a base without any weapons. I've never done that before. What do we have? Climbing anchors. Oh, this is just on my back. Come on, Kuma. You must have some weapons in here. Let's see what you've left. Container spray. That might work. Grenades. No, you won't need that. Oh, you haven't left much, have you? Damn it, Kuma. Really hasn't left much. Alright, then let's take out the empty stuff and take it out so we're not carrying this dead weight. Private locker. Done. There we go. All good. The rest of the way should have a highway. There we go. We're all good. This should take us all the way to the end. Where's my highway? What happened to my highway? Where the bloody hell is my highway? It's gone. Ugh, okay. Fine, whatever. We're good. We get some music for the road. That's the opposite of what I wanted. There's no hand time on stuff. I Go on, baby. It's the SJWs trying to get my ad revenue again! Lou approaching autotoxemia? That bad. That is horrible. Lou! What the hell? This stress definitely ain't good for BB. Come on, BB. I need you in one piece here. We're standing in acid rain. Alright, that's all I can do for now. Too much in the acid rain is literally destroying all my shit. No, in the bike. Of course they are. Gotta go, go, go. We good. What? Oh my god, is it fish and mailed? A container damage, fucking hell. We might actually fail this mission just because of the bloody rain.
fuck of my life, right? Imagine failing this mission at this point. Let's see if we failed or not. Oh boy. I just saw fish. Fine, fuck it. Quadruple grenade launcher it is. Wait, that's a grenade launcher! You should be weak against those! And there's two of them. Oh, fucking hell! When I took this delivery, no one mentioned three! <laughs> uh -huh. We have a little bit of what's called a um, ammo problem. Maybe I don't mean to alarm you, but now's not the time. I need to get at least one of them down, so I'm not fighting three at the same time. Because I don't know about you, but I'm not an expert at Japanese, you know. So give me a break. Bingo. And that wasn't the one that was going down. Please die. Please die. Is that a grenade launcher from the dead? Oh my god, I love dead people. Thank you, Mukuro. Now give me that. Here, doggy, play fetch. Get up the thingy. Oh my god, it can dodge. It can bloody dodge. Uh oh, okay, give me that, uh, give me that. Um, okay, that's equipped, that's used. We'll drop it then. It's useless to you. Use, then drop it! Give me a useful one, thank you. Oh shit, it jumps off the platform. Oh, we are in the end game now. What do you mean they're just spawning? Almost ruined time. Oh, we are so fucked. Hey, dead person, give me more shit. Thank you. Yes, more dead people. Yeah. What do you mean I can't carry more quadruple grenade launchers? What kind of slav are you? Oh, you, you, you're shitting me. This is the type of slav you are. BB, not fucking now! What the hell is that in the background? Give 
Give me more grenade. Danger close! Done. Where's the empty one? Well, drop it. Pick up the good one. Fire! For the love of a tuna, what the hell was that? I think our containers are getting fucked. Where's my bike? A truck. The fine balance of getting your reward and not ruining your thing. I kind of killed four of these. I kind of want to hit 15,000. But I also kind of want to complete this mission. Come on, 15,000. Let me hit 15,000, then I'll go. Come on, 15,000. All right, we got 15,000. That's enough, otherwise I'm getting too greedy. All right, bike, you're still in me now. Almost there. Don't let them stop me now. Don't be defeated now, Sam! Don't let that thing stop you now, for the love of God! No! Oh god, a cutscene. Of course. Um. Did I just see a face in the mouth? Well, shit. Ghost people, ammo, please. Defeat the BT. Yeah, I love that. This blood bag's ruined. Just throw it away. Forget about that. Where's that pistol I saw? Forget about that pistol. That pistol ain't doing shit right now. 
Handgun? Yeah, forget about that. That ain't doing nothing. Quadruple grenade launcher. Where is it? Fire! Open up! Open! Or not? Come on, quadruple grenade launcher. Come on, dead people, you owe me for this! Whoa, shit! Alright, Sam, keep moving. Don't tell me it's gonna spot. Huh, <laughs> it's swimming in the land. Bingo. Am I even scratching it? What if I shoot it in the ass? Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. There must be a target on it. We need to get it when it opens its mouth. Dead people, where my ammo at? Dead people? Oh, come on, I know I've killed more of you than that. Come on, open up. Come on, towards me, towards me. That's it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Bingo. Oh, come on, it's pooping on me. Dead people, your assistance is required. Fuck off. There it is. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Grenade launcher. El Grenado! Yes! Yes! Very good! Very good! Now give me! Yes! Give me! Please! Give me the fucking grenade launcher, you bastard! Arigato! Now give- Oh fuck, I can't carry it. Where is it? Here it comes! Open up! Come on, I've got a quadruple just waiting here for me. Take the quadruple. I'ma take it! Motherfucker. Thank you, kind sir. We can't climb it here. Climb! We 
need to dump some of this ammo. Ah, that's fine. We'll leave it for now. Come on. Come on. Come. Bingo. Good boy. Open up. Open up. You know you want me. Come on. Uh, dead people? Oh, yes, you. Good. More. I'll be down in one second. Huh? Uh, dead person, watch out for that thing. Okay, I'm down. Give me blood pack. Yep, now, now the grenade launcher. No, not the assault. Oh, motherfucker. Fine, whatever, just give me. Yeah, that's it. Just keep throwing them. Okay, now grenade launcher. That's it? Oh, come on, your reality sucks, buddy. You better be back. Yeah, good, good give me. Good boy. Hurry up. See, I like you. Apparently I'm carrying too much weight. Reload, reload, reload! What the hell? Oh no, this motherfucker going down. Nah, man, I was so close. So close. So that, I didn't realize, but if it gets gold on the floor, that means it's the thing coming up. So close. So close. So close. We, we got this. We got this. this is, nah, we got this. 100%. We got this. We got this. Where's my latest set? Oh, good. I thought Metal Gear's bigger than this. Open wide! Where you think you're going? I'm gonna go there and get those items when the time comes. But for now... You got nothing on me! Come here and fight me like a true slob! Where is it? Think you're going, you little 
bastard. Come back here! Yo, give me non lethal? Fuck off! What are you taking me for? Where do you think you're going, you little bastard? Come on! Come here! Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Back here! Move, 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 move! Yes, more shit, thank you! What? Get up. Bingo. Ah, oh, crap! Dead people, gimme! Thank you, just gimme anything. Can you have something a little more long? Yeah, rocket, gimme! Good for me. Yeah, fuck it, let's finish it with a uh, shotgun. Oh, it's coming for me. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Fire! Down! And yet, my friends, is how you kill the veil the slave way. That whale had it coming. See, the slave way works. Don't kiss me. I thought it was all over. Okay, uh, where's the reward? 
Reward for my kill. Where is it? No rain. Fuck off. Where's the fruits of my labor? Really? It's all gone? Oh, there it is. Next to my bike? I've got an interesting way of placement. I deserve every one of these crystals. God. What? So what's the mission? Oh, right. Isolation ward. Come on, bike. You got this. This bike has survived the journey. Amazing! We took that boss down, no sweat. The reason they put that thing in purgatory was not to save humanity from the beast, but to save the beast from the slavs. God's like, oh man, if I don't put this thing in purgatory, the slavs will kill it for XP. B? Go to hell. She's waiting for you on the beach. The world's most popular porter. Okay. Can we enjoy a movie now? You're back. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team? Die Hard Men too? Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells, effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? 
He's being looked after in another room. Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward. Similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. <sighs> Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Sam, you made it. Hungry. Let's not forget the fact that her body has aged so much. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? Anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Sam's here. The great deliverer. The only one who can reach Amelie's beach. Uh, oh. You're in no condition to do this. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in my own search for Amelie's beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary. Mm -hmm. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours. Mm -hmm. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. The hell? Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary. But Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole, a whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beat, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? <clears throat> this is only a theory, but... She wants you. Wants you to go to her. That's her final wish, don't you think? Can I bring a rocket launcher? So that's it, huh? Amelie's the EE, -E and this is her endgame. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece, I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. That about right? With a rocket launcher? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her... You'll save the world, but you'll be stranded outside of it. Forever. Oh, wow. Looks like it's a one-way mission. But what about my BB? Official, then. You ready to deliver the package? Wait, can I get some ammo first? 
Guys, please. I'm seriously, like, undergeared for this. I literally got, like, nothing. Come on, man, give me a break. I'll talk to her. Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still, if it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit, well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever, not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. Thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. Because it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing. Started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. Even if it means you never come back? Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, right? <laughs> Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kid's done enough. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse our little one back to health. So Lou's no longer equipment. Concentrate. Help me look for Emily. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her! Kojima sure has a way with words. Woo! Haven't felt that kind of, uh... Thing in a while. And yeah, Nagito does have the biggest hope boner right now. Sam. There you are. Seriously. Like, heels on a beach. Come on. I'm never going to get over that. I got to chill? Yeah, I got to chill. Wait, what? Wait, if I'm a baby, are you my sister? Are you the mother? I'm oh so Let's go home. It's okay. I know the way.
Wait, we're in the water? Sam Strand. Amelie's Beach. Stop the extinction. Find Amelie. Let's do ourselves a favor. Take a quick two minutes to grab a drink, grab a snack, grab the bathroom, whatever you need. We know Kojima, and we know that Kojima at the endings likes to throw us a three hour movie. So let's do ourselves a favor and get whatever supplies we need so that we can sit through the three hours in one go. So quick two minutes to go out, do what you need to do, and come back. Quick two minutes, do it. One more minute ago. <laughs> the gameplay right now, me overthinking how I said hi in public. It's alright, I, I used to be I used to be a very extroverted kid and I went into a very introverted state with low self-confidence and overthinking situations too. What I found was people will never remember what you said but will always remember how you made them feel. So don't think about it too much because chances are people won't remember it within a week. And if you say hi to someone and, you know, they don't say hi back, they won't even remember it. So don't worry. Don't worry. Life's too short to worry. 
Let's do this thing. By the way, this would be a beautiful um, wallpaper. If someone wants screenshots, go for it. Anybody out Anybody there? Out there? Just gotta ignore the blood there. I'm Slav. We don't mind the blood. What? Why is he sitting down? Can he not go further up? What the hell is going on? London hmm? Bridge is falling down. Falling down Falling down London Bridge is falling down My fair lady I have so many questions Ah, oh, so you've upgraded to a black set of heels, okay? Fine The like... last stranding has already begun Mother? Homily? Are you both the same person? You're too late. What took you so long? Oh, you know, a big leviathan. Your voice. Your mother, you aren't you? You still don't know who I am, do you? Mother? Who are you? Uh. Sam. I knew you'd come back. Okay, so I was partially right? But this is your beach. You don't die on your own beach. This is the afterlife, right? Well, this is what we call the afterlife in the multiverse. Sam, listen to me. Why not? You, Sam. See, this is where she's waiting for you on the beach. Okay, so you are the same person. At least what we think of is a person. I've been waiting for you right here ever since. You were supposed to stop me. Stop all of this. Well, I've been trying. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? You are Amelie. Where she's always been? Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist? Not in your world. Okay, so we work around. Right. Sorry, Sam. to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. What's this supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. Crap, I forgot the popcorn. Shit! Live and learn, right? Wait a minute, this is my first cookie jar. Damn it! Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget? Those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, 
You have two choices. Hmm. Nani? That's getting shot, one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. They would get your finger off the trigger. Like gun safety, you don't put your finger on the trigger unless you intend to fire, so come on. That's the basics. I thought you were an American. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. That's bad, right? In a flash. This world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. So, that brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me and bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together with me until the last flame wings out. And then what? Sound so bad, does it? Uh, it sounds pretty horrible. It's not like the world has long left anyway. Okay, so one, you want to be the destroyer. Cool. And there's the second choice. Mm hmm. I shoot you. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Mm hmm. Like this Kipu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. Well, you're the one that told me to do it. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. It doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. <sighs> Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain, knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Well, I'm Slav, so you tell me what I'll choose. Those are your choices. it all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. Yeah, but which one is which? It I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. Wait, so shooting you is cutting? I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? So I'm guessing cutting is killing you, which saves humanity. Whereas... Well... I'll be nice, so I'll go for a headshot because I'm a nice person. Wait, what? Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. Mother... Okay, seriously, I can't miss from this range. What? Beat her to death with the pistol. Give me that... 
357, worthless piece of shit. No. Stop. Beat her to death. Hit her. Pistol whip her. Oh, no, you don't. No, it, do something. What the hell? No, you don't. You tricked me, didn't you? You tricked me. She tricked me, didn't she? I'm ready, Sam Strand. What? Make your choice. Wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? Do I get the rope and choke you to death? Do I beat you to death with the whale fin? Do I tell you to stop because the SJWs have taken over? That has some connection to Die Hardman. It is loaded with hematic rounds coated in Sam's blood. Seemed to have no effect on Bridget at the beach. I mean, it had no effect. Then, the whale. The, the water. The planet? I... Stop her! I'm here for you. Wait, what? Anyways. No, I said pistol whip her! Like you were for me. No, drown her! whole again. Wait, what? And when the time comes, you'll have to stop me. You are the only one who can. Wait, make us whole? I promise you'll remember. Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Doesn't that make this our beach? Wait, you gotta be shitting me. You know. You always know. I did and I didn't. Sam, you can still kill her. I had so many dreams of the future. Know which ones to trust which is why i decided to share them with you and the others but to connect the dots to make sense of everything you need perspective you need time time has no meaning to me i am not a line I am a single point. Which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. Live life one day at a time. Thank you, Sam. Are you telling me that killing is not the only way? A gun won't help you here. 
Well, that is bull crap. But it still has a role to play. Oh, so what? The whole internet's now judging me for trying to save the planet from an extinction entity? It was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. Oh, I'm sorry I tried to and save you all. Shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in. Come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. You're just replacing Why one sacrifice to another. Sam. I am the beach. No, you're the and bitch. You must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE -E does. <sighs> if I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. But I... I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So... That's what I did. Sounds like hell. So the alternative is leaving her here forever. But you and the others came together, connected, and you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. The extinction isn't just an end. It's an opportunity. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. So you're basically the little girl that bridges together the two worlds, like London Bridge. You're the sacrifice. Oh, come on, you're gonna judge me that I would have killed one person to, to save an entire species? We will always be connected. Seriously? I'm getting judged for this? Goodbye, Sam. I'd do it all over again! <sighs> oh, what? You're gonna judge me? Fine! Oh wait, is that her- Oh, is that the one that used to connect to the beach? Does that mean we can connect to the beach? Or is this her way of saying, no, we can- Oh my god, it's the old photo. Then who's the woman on the left? I is so confused. Wait, is this- Can we use this then to see the memories of that other guy we- No, he already passed on. Ogan won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. Make a decision and bring this to an end. You call that a decision? I call that a judgment. And the story is over, but the song never ends. Norman Reedus. Mads Mickelson. <laughs> Leah Say Dokes. So suicide? Suicide is never the slum way. We fight to the end. Troy Baker.
Margaret Qualley. I'm gonna go to every one of those strands and kill the BT if I have to. Tommy Earl Jenkins. Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, he, he was amazing in this game. I mean, everyone in this game did really well. But I really felt for him. 100% I felt for him. He showed that he can play not only a good villain like he did in Bond, like he does in Hannibal, but he also showed that he could play a very humane, touching, good guy that we perceive as a villain, but then can really feel for. What? Did they just try to stop a slav? No. You're weak. Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Hmm? When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again, and again, and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. As I have today. It seems that somehow I cannot go up that hill. Hideo Kojima. Original story game design Hideo Kojima. Let me guess. Script by Hideo Kojima. Made by Hideo Kojima. For Hideo Kojima. By Hideo Kojima. Writer Hideo Kojima. Oh, writer Kenji Yano. Okay. I stand corrected. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> Title design by Kyle Cooper. Times New Roman. I guess drown yourself? Character and Mechanical Design, Yoji Shinkawa. L lead Level Design, Hiroaki Yoshike. Okay, the beach goes all the way then. The more you walk, you accidentally sent an unfinished comment. Hmm? The first operation. I was only 20. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. Amelie, my car, in this. 
Smokes and never came back. Mm. Okay, Voldemort. Is French for soul. Soul life. That's a lie. <laughs> that's clever. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. Huh. That makes sense. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking, maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. Hmm. Okay, so exposition time. I still can't get over the fact that people are judging me for pulling the trigger. It was either watch everyone die or shoot one extinction entity. I mean, what would you have done? Admit it, you would have shot two. Try the touchpad? Come on, come on. I ain't done yet. I'm Sam! I'm Sam! I'm Sam. Anybody hear me? Anybody hear me? I'm a Lee. You mean this? You mean this? Anyone? Anyone? I'm a Lee. Hey! 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 You gotta be kidding me! I'm a Lee. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. You mean this? You mean this? I'm a Lee. Over here! Over here! Over here. You gotta be kidding me! Try shooting something? Well, I'm sorry, he won't let me draw the gun. It looks like there's a path that way, but you know. Let's see if we can go all the way on the beach. What's that rock over there? See, there seems to be a path that- huh? Wait! Oh no, you didn't! YOU SON OF A BITCH! Oh, come on! Hell will not keep a slav. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead, which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. Uh -huh. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. 
So, I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. That sounds cruel. Hmm? What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded Bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. Mm -hmm. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha uh, had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ha uh, was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve. Like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know? I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe, and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. So when a species is about to go extinct, it is forced to adapt to survive. So it's basically Darwinism on crack. So... The fact that we were threatened by this extinction means that instead of humanity fighting each other and, you know, killing each other, we were forced to work together. You know, even though we had groups of people not working together, but anyway. So, it's, it's like a reset. Essentially. It doesn't wipe us all out, it just resets a lot of it. Forcing growth. Hey, there's a lot of these strands coming from this location. He's gonna have to shoot himself eventually. But until that time... Don't spawn me back. Oh, come on. God damn it. Okay, so left doesn't work. Right doesn't work. Going back doesn't work. Going forward drowns me. Okay. Trigger twice that day. 
I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. Wait, Sam's a bridge baby? from death once and for all. It's okay. I know the way. But in doing so, I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. entity it's my fate to lead our species to extinction but that moment you became part of that fate you became a repatriate and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world it was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this not long after a death stranding occurred the dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options. I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. Mm -hmm. You can cut me off. An EE -E doesn't have that option for itself, but in my nightmares, I saw another future, one that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. Hmm.
Hideo Kojima, post-ending credit cutscenes, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 it never ends at just the cutscenes. He's been doing this before Marvel has been doing post-credit cutscenes. Kojima, Kojima is the OG. Kojima is the OG. I'm in hell now. Oh, come on! A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play.
Eh eh. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. Wait, you said together again. Abandoned. And you you're not alone. You said you, see, Sam? you said together again. You have to live. You said together again. You said together again. Listen to me here. Ah, oh, crap. I count five of them. No, one second. I have to see who the five previous people were. No, wait! One second, you bastard! Who are they? No, you fool! Don't come to my beach! Wait, what? Why are you wearing white? Don't give up. You're still connected. That's why the necklace has... Well, that has six. So, I'm guessing I'm repatriating now into the world of the living. That's my strand.
Well, it looks like the post-ending credits movie is loading, which will probably take 30 minutes to load because it's probably four hours. Oh! <laughs> For too long have we lived as strangers to one another, divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. Now, the old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past. An enduring shadow. A constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together. To the bonds between us. To our collective greatness. All things must come to an end. Ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we the people might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be... Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great. It's about Cliff and BB, now, isn't it? Wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? BB. We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy. BB. Just when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. 
Unfortunately, it didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her peach loose. It was just gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month? A month on the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. <laughs> In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So, we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lachna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. Amelie, she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. No idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. <clears throat> Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Snake? Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts later appointed as an aide to the president, who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the Cairo network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The President's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him. But I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later. Do I shoot him? Do I stab him? Do I choke him? Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Unger. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Now I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. 
or the mask. Please, let me finish. He... The captain saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hardman. Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him. As much as I loved her. And when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? Why didn't he? He couldn't save his, his kid, his baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he, he saw I was trying to do my part for America, he remembered who he was. And he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dad, God! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, maybe this is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. He wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. He was a good captain. Thank you, Sam. Now harden the fuck up and do your duty. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. Fuck off! Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. Oh, come on! I thought you might want to take care of it. 
You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. I don't care about and your executive there are laws fucking order. About that kind of thing. Now that we're a nation. The president can kiss my ass. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, he's president. Give me a presidential pardon. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. I'll fucking defy him. I don't give a shit. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. Oh, come on! You gonna kill my baby? After everything that... Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right. Absolutely. Weather. Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry, I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile. But not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Wanna come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. The same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people, with us. Everything I touch, I lose. Sam! Oh, come 
the fuck on? Hey, Lo. Two minute break, grab a drink, grab a bathroom, grab a bottle of vodka. And tissues if you need it. Two minutes. One minute. I seem to be out of vodka. This is a, uh... Unprecedented crisis of having no vodka. So I've got this instead. Japanese $350 signature blend whiskey. <laughs> from Satori Refinery. Come on, what you got? Let's do this. And it doesn't let you do a save on the side.
guess we're here. You still with me, though? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Thanks for everything. Second, all this is over. I'm gonna take you wherever you want to go. what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save Bibi. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Is this a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me? I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. What a bitch. You can see the absolute rage in his face. The president gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk off the record. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. But I served under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt.
They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. Would it have killed you to give him a fucking gun? This belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. The system won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. Alarm is set to go off if she flatlines. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, Tops. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. He's making a suppressor. Or at least trying to hide the shape of the gun. Take care of him. I promise you. I promise you. My hand, Melissa. Got four rounds left. And he's got less than five minutes. Four forty five. Maybe. Maybe. Four thirty. Can you hear me?
sorry, Lou. This is all the bullshit. Take BB out. Fuck the thing. Fuck the void out. You're in the middle of nowhere. You've still got time if BB starts going into Necro. Like, it takes more than a minute. And the and the thing will burn in less than a minute. You gotta at least try. You gotta do something. You can't you can't just fucking bend over. You gotta have, like, you gotta try. You can't not try. There's gotta be an alternative. You gotta try. You gotta try. You can't not try. Like, even if it's fucked, you try. By some fucking miracle, that's how. Oh, fuck off. Chromatic corpse. Any corpse, I don't care whose corpse. Get a corpse. Make a corpse! I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. Christ! A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. I'll take the 30%. Fucking 30% is better than the odds of half the people that survive shit. this oh no really I have to watch it fuck me of course you did wife's already been shot Guy. 
please tell me there's not like fucking armed guards coming from this way. No, they're not. Man, these young fuckers ain't got nothing on a skilled veteran. He could, he could fuck him up easy. They're actually lucky to be walking in the other direction. <clears throat> yeah, shooting it wouldn't be a good idea. It's probably bullet resistant anyway. Uh, Kojima develops the ending at the beginning of the games. He knew how we wanted to end it. Ah, oh, fuck. Freeze! Hey, put it down! Drop it! Put it down! Back off. Back off! Get up! Don't do it! I'll handle this. He's good, they don't have a neck shot. Stop! Step aside, sir, or we'll be forced to open fire. It's a dead end. He's trapped. Security will take it from here. He was so clever. The other guy's arm is here, which means they can't get a neck shot. If they get a neck shot, the spasm wouldn't pull the trigger. That is so fucking... Oh no, that's where his wife is. There's a blood trail. Two rounds left. Ugh. 
And he wants to be close to his wife. I'm sorry, Lisa. I screwed it up. He knows he's gonna bleed out. I've ruined everything. This room is off limits. No one goes in. But he's in there, sir. I saw him. You saw him. Now back the other way. Go! Yes, sir. No. Open it up. He's inside. Move, dumbass. The day is ending. Let that yawn out. There's no pretending. I will hold you and protect you. Five six twos. He's gone. Laura. Being a father didn't make me scared. It made me brave. I'm sorry. Sorry it took me so long. to the future. 
without you. I was just like any other cliff. Dead end. No way forward. Nothing but an obstacle. Looking on at the world people like you were trying to build. Dividing people was the only thing I was ever good at. Still judging me for wanting to fucking shoot her. Oh god. That'd be me too. No, no, no. No. You're not crying because the baby's dead. You're crying because your plan went to shit, you fucking hooker. I fucking hate her. God, I hate that bitch. Oh, thank you, Hotshot, for having a box of tissues. Finally, a use for these. Give him a fucking Oscar for that! Shooter! Fuck off! I'm gonna grab a chopstick. She deserves to spend eternity in her fucking beach. to shits about him.
Well, she died after a long flight with cancer, having fallen out of the hospital bed trying and failing to reconnect to her son, who till the end expresses disgust at being touched by her. Not enough! So she, she got what was coming. Not enough! You wanna go home? Trust me, that strikes closer to home than you think. Let's go home. My own father died of cancer and I was there on his deathbed. And he got much worse than that. And even that was not enough. I know the way. Tis a start? Not even close! See, and she wasn't even doing this to fucking... For the kid, it was all for her goal. And who was that guy standing in the water? There was someone standing in the water. Who the fuck was that? I don't know about you, but she's more human than half the other humans. She's a selfish bitch. No, all good, Sen. All good. Oh, that's a little Kojima Productions thing. All good. I'm cool with it. Got the little. But if I'm the BB. There you are. Welcome back. I'm gonna gouge your eyes out with a. Understand, his days as a BB are over. Now that his connection to the other side has been severed. It was me who cut the cord. So yes. A deathless repatriate in the world of the living. Should we decommission it? In a manner of speaking, take him out of the pod. So that's the solution. I'll raise him as my own. So we can take BB out of the pod. Cliff left on his own. Come on, BB. Come on, BB. Come on. You can do it. Come on, baby. Uh, wake up. Come on, baby. wake up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, wake up. Do we have to cut the cord? Go! Wait, but our cufflink is in the thingy, so we can't cut shit.
do. What are those five doing here? No, not the time fall, Rain. Maybe BTs? Maybe. Maybe they're the ex extinction entities. I don't know. I guess it comes down to how you want to interpret it.
Man was completely lost. He was living day to day, just trying to make it to the end of the day. Now that could be interpreted as living, but to me, that's just marking time. That's just... Character. I, I, beautiful. I, I put high, high accolades, nine, tens. I'm not an acting or movie expert, but I felt it. It felt real. The micro expressions, the movements, the emotion, the way he moved as a character. I could see him as that soldier. All his movement, the way he thought, the way he looked, the way he spoke, the intensity of his stare, like a hundred percent. Give the man an Oscar. The music. I, I think the music's beautiful. I think the music's beautiful. Uh, when it comes to the gameplay, I think the physics in this game and the engine was amazing. The graphics. What, what do I have to say about the graphics? I'm playing it in 1080p. This can be played in 4K. I think the graphics were amazing. I mean, if this does not get game of the year, what the fuck? There's no way this is not going to get Game of the Year. No fucking way. No way. This is Game of the Year. Tommy Earl Jenkins that played Die Hardman did a phenomenal job. He did. Imagine what Kojima could do with the PlayStation 5. I'm willing to bet you anything because Kojima throughout his career has been pushing the PlayStation to its limits. Without a shadow of a doubt, Kojima will be one of the people advising the product development team of what the PlayStation 5 needs. He's in Sony now. He's got his own independent studio as a part of the Sony umbrella. There's no chance in hell they are making a game console without asking Kojima, what do you think? There is no chance in hell. This, this was amazing! 
so amazing, so, so bloody good. Game of the decade, MGS won game of the century, won game of the console, got Guinness Book of Records. This is game of the decade? Probably, if not a serious contender for it. If something can top this, oh my god. If something can top this, if something can top this, the benchmark has been lifted. This is gaming. Let's look at the photo. Is that his wife? Forty two hours. Oh, I'm not even going to hit 200, am I? Man, I've got such OCD. It would be nice to hit 200. It would be so fitting, but apparently not. Not around. I'll be coming. Tonight, tonight, tonight. BB's theme. Almost nothing. We're going to have so much shit when it comes to copyright for this. But I'm not concerned. You guys saw it. You guys saw the music. I hope you loved it. This video might get taken down, it might get butchered, I might get copyright strike, the whole channel might be terminated because it's got more than three songs. But if a music company is going to be so petty to try to take down a YouTube channel for playing a video game and enjoying their music, fuck the business world. Please don't stop chapter two. Please don't stop chapter one. Journals. Memories of Cliff. Change color scheme. I feel like the PlayStation 5 will probably be the ultimate console of the ninth generation, especially with Kojima on the team. Fuck yes! The funny thing is the gameplay for me was mediocre, but the graphics, story, and acting was on another level, and it will be a memorable game because of that. I've played a lot of action, stealth, um, adventure games, and I can honestly say that the combat in this game was... Tomorrow is in your hands. Two weeks earlier. Oh boy, here we go, the epilogue. So how is this going to work? Two weeks earlier from the ending, does that mean we can reap Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Well, look who's awake. Morning, Sam. You'll be happy to hear your vitals have stabilized and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ha. Not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready in time for the inauguration. But at least one of us is still free as a bird. You should head out, make the most of it. Could even do some orders if you wanted. Might do you good to get back in the game. You may recall it was raining buckets back when you left for Amelie's Beach. We took a real beating at the time, but we've done our best to service the structures and vehicles in the area. So you know, any cargo that was stored in your private locker at a damaged facility should have been transferred to your private locker here at this distro center. Anyway, busy or not, we'll still be on the end of the line if you need us. And if you want some alone time, we should be able to manage for now. Just make sure you're back in time for the big day, all right? See you then. Hey, Sam. You sure you don't have any unfinished business?
So you guys want Cliff and BB uh, emojis? I've got absolutely no objections to that at all. But I do ask. Take a look at the uh, bottom, just off the middle. For new emojis, we have to hit 20 sponsors. We currently have how many emojis? Ich ni san shi goroku shichi hachi. We currently have eight. Uh, in order to be able to change the emojis that we have, we have to have 15, which is 8. In order to get 9, we need 20 sponsors. So, I'm not able to swap out any of the emojis currently, because we don't have 15 sponsors. A few people dropped off. Um, so, when we get back to 15, I can swap out one of the emojis that we have for a BB or Cliff emoji. And then when we hit 20, I can put another one on. So I've got absolutely no objections to putting a Cliff or BB emoji at all. I, I think that's a good idea. Uh, it wouldn't hurt at all, but that's the way we're going to do it. And tomorrow, we start MGS4, which is the last game in 11 years that has made me as emotional as this one. So if, ha if you have not yet... Pardon? If you have not yet started the journey of MGS, I highly recommend that you start. We've got an LP of Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, which is the first one. Uh, we've got the three-part live stream of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Highly recommend you watch it. The LP will come after MGS 4, so I recommend you watch the live streams. MGS 3, Snake Eater, same thing. Watch the live streams. And we will be playing MGS 4, Guns of the Patriots for the next five weeks. So you effectively have four and a half weeks to get up to date because in five weeks from now, we will be playing the finale of Metal Gear Solid 4 Sons of the Patriots, which is the last game that has made me as emotional as I was in this live stream today, which is a very difficult thing to achieve. Um, I give full accolades to Kojima to the actors, to the writers, to the script writers, to the filmers, to the <laughs> music production team. Like, I give full credit. They tipped me over the edge, and it was beautiful. It was an amazing experience. It was an amazing experience. So tomorrow, MGS Force Guns of the Patriots begins. Uh, continues the week after. The week after that, I have to go to a friend's Bucks party. So... That weekend, we will have LPs for the weekend. Um, and the week after that, we return and we go back to MGS4 and something else. Um, so we will figure out what else will take the slot of Death Stranding. I was thinking of putting in a reaction live stream uh, to do a little more abridged and fun stuff because we're a little bit behind. And uh, we finished the Mass Effect Let's Play for Mass Effect 1 that was released last night. I hope you enjoyed at least I think it was released, or it wasn't released, or maybe it needs to get released. Um, we're still doing the near Automata LP, and that's going to come back to live stream as soon as the LP finishes Route B. So, very exciting time. It was fun sticking around for these live streams, if not most of them, considering I couldn't make them. All good, all good. We had a little bit of a binge last week for Death Stranding. No, this game was, this game was just freaking amazing. I know there's a lot of uh, post-game files here that we need to read. That is a real sort of thing. Um, I, I, I sort of feel that it's best to leave them for next time. We've got this road construction thing that we can do. Uh, we've got heaps of memory chips. I'm sure we've got heaps. Mail. My daughter and her husband's tragic past. Uh, the Carl Artist's mother, the Carl Artist, the wedding's back on. Uh, Bonafide, I've only seen Amelia's hologram. So there's so much that we could read. Uh, there's so much post-game content in this game that we might even carve out one live stream just to chill and discuss the game and do all the post-game content. Because I'm sure this is a very fun game that you could continue playing. Just because you finish the story in a game like this doesn't mean you need to put it down. There's so much side quests and I'm sure that if you collect everything in the game, there might be some post-game credits. So thank you for coming. It has been amazing. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for being so awesome. Thank you for all of those that have started watching with us at the beginning of this game. Uh, on the binge that we had on the launch weekend, four days in a row, we played 40 hours. 
Um, and for those of you that waited effectively almost a week and a half for the ending so that we could all enjoy it together at the same time, I salute you for that. I appreciate that. I am honored. I'm, I'm honestly touched that there are people out there around the world that that are a part of this journey and that I am a part of their journey and that we are doing this together. That's what makes a community a community and we have a very strong community and I'm unbelievably humbled and grateful to have such awesome people like yourselves in this community. It makes it amazing for me. I'm having the most fun that I've had in a decade uh, streaming with you guys and today especially was 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 very emotional was very touching uh and if i can say so myself it was very beautiful and i've had a great time and i hope you have too and i hope you will join me next time which is tomorrow and i hope i will see you in the future because you guys are what makes this community great and and the more the merrier i say the more the merrier so let's grow um and let's make it bigger and better there, there, there's only upside from here uh, all the copyright and the copy and all that bullshit, um, all that aside, it's the community that matters. And whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Mixer, whether it's on Twitch, whether it's on Patreon, it doesn't matter. It's the community that matters. And the fact that we have a strong community, the fact that we have a Discord means that we could stay together no matter what. And if one platform goes to shit, we will always find a way. We'll find a way. We'll survive... We all struggle. It won't be easy, but we'll make it through it together as a community. So thank you for being a part of it and thank you for making it so great. Uh, I really appreciate that. So... <laughs> uh